welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Brittany Collins, AKA Naturally Pretty. I am here with another video. If you are new here, then hi, how are you? My name is Brittany. If you're a current subscriber, then hey, Freya. You already know what it is. So I wanted to show you guys how I achieve this look. If you're interested in seeing how it's done, then stay tuned. Guys, so I just got out of the shower. I've washed my hair twice with the Cream of Nature Detangling Shampoo. And then I've also deep conditioned with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castle Oral. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and put in my leave-in. I did not put my leave-in in this time. Um, honestly, just because I want my hair to dry and I feel like it holds a lot of moisture in. In general, it holds a lot of moisture in, but it definitely does it when I put the leave-in in in the shower. And I kind of want this braid out to be a little stretched. I'm going to actually just apply the product outside of the shower and then I'm going to go right over top of it with the Mayo Avocado Hair Milk, which you already know. Go over top of it with that. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go into this. Leave in by Shea Moisture. I'm going to be splitting this in to two parts. did already detangle my hair um, a couple of days ago actually so I'm only going to be using the wide tooth comb. And typically I would recommend using a brush for this to make sure that your hair is really smooth um, but I do braid outs all the time and I'm not going to detangle my hair again this close together so So I do a pretty big section in the back because that's where majority of my shrinkage happens. So I like to make sure that that is a bigger section. the product so any excess product I'm just going to put into my next section so I'm just going to continue with the rest of the process So I'm going to go ahead and just go to sleep, wash my hands, and go to sleep, and then I will come back once my hair dries, which probably won't be for a few days or more, um, but I will come back when it's time to take these braids down. Alright guys, so it's been about three days. My hair has been put up, sweated in, and all of that. Um, <laughs> I did not even put a scarf on these last couple of days. I've only you know, slept on my silk pillowcase. So it is really, really frizzy, but it should still come out cute. So I'm just taking my oil, squeeze it into the hair, and then I will begin taking it out starting from the back. So now that that is taken out, we're going to go ahead and separate it. So I'm just going to tug on it. Wherever they kind of break up, we're just going to leave it there. So now 
I'm gonna go in with my oil and just put it right on my fingers. I'm gonna go in and massage my scalp with the oil, just kind of fluff and shake the hair to where I, I like it. guys so I'm gonna go do my makeup get my life together and then I will be right back All right, guys so this is the finished result of my braid out I wanted to let you guys know that while I did my makeup I just used this little invisible bobble to hold my hair up so it might look a little stretched this is also how I preserve it at night and it usually lasts a good four to five days and then I also picked it a little bit on this side just because I felt like it was kind of like stuck up. So just to kind of shape it a little bit, I did use this. So just a heads up. All right, guys. So that's it for the end of this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video, as well as subscribe if you have not already. If you're interested in more videos pertaining to my natural hair, then check out my playlist, All Things Natural Hair. And be sure to hit that bell notification button as well to be notified every time I post a new video. But other than that, guys, Brady out.